Welcome back to Gil the Fan, where we talk everything baseball, especially everything controversial and crazy. Today we'll be talking about Hugh Casey, who is a former Major League Baseball pitcher who played for the Chicago Cubs, the Brooklyn Dodgers, the Pittsburgh Pirates, and the New York Yankees. In 1942 and 1947, he led the National League in saves, was a three-time National League pennant winner in 1935, 1941, and 1947, and an American League pennant winner in 1949. He had a win-loss record of 75 wins and 42 losses, an earned run average of 3.45, he had 349 strikeouts, and 54 saves. In 1938, Casey was drafted by the Brooklyn Dodgers and used mostly as a reliever. From 1939 to 1941, he won over 10 games each season. In 1941, Casey helped the Dodgers win the National League Championship. He is often remembered for an alleged wild pitch that he threw in the ninth inning of Game 4 in the 1941 World Series, which caused a New York Yankees rally. Catcher Mickey Owen felt that the pitch was a spitball, but Casey insisted it was not. The play was officially recorded as a passed ball. Brooklyn lost the game and the series. In 1943, during World War II, he joined the Navy but returned to the Dodgers in 1945. He also pitched in the 1947 World Series, going 2-0 with a save, but the Dodgers lost in seven games to the Yankees. Hugh Casey was also known as a character, as stories have circulated that he sparred with writer Ernest Hemingway in Hemingway's house. After baseball, Casey ran a restaurant in Brooklyn near the end of his life. On July 3, 1951, at 37 years old, while in Atlanta, Hugh Casey killed himself with a shotgun blast to the neck while on the telephone with his estranged wife. Casey was reportedly distressed that he had been named as the father of a child by a different woman in a paternity suit. That's it for Gil the Fan today, and remember what I always say, positive things happen to positive thinkers. Who said that? Coop, and he was the greatest player I ever played with.